So people, today we're gonna make volumetric light on Spark AR. It's not real volumetric light, but it's quite awesome and pretty easy to do. So we start with Blender. You see that we already have our object here since I'm doing this tutorial for so many times. But I deleted everything. I create a mesh, a plane. I rotate this plane on the Z axis 90 degrees. I want this plane half a meter. We see we have our plane, but we need at least for me, I'm using 64 planes. For that, I'm using a ray modifier, the count number 64. Disable relative offset, constant offset on the Z depth, 0 0.02. So we, now we have 64 planes. Apply your planes, export as GLPF, planes GLB. Import this object to Spark. Put on your scene. We have our 64 planes. We're gonna edit this depth of the object so we can fit the distance to the camera. Uh, it's pretty okay. You see that our object don't fit the screen ratio, it, which is crucial because we have many devices with different ratios, so for the effect to really fit in any screen, we're gonna use just amazing fit to screen patch. So our object can fit the screen ratio of any screen. Fit to screen, device, we take screen size, our planes object, scale, and it's really huge. This patch has some magic numbers. So we will always edit this multiply patch until your object fit the screen. So we're gonna try 0306H. Well. 06H is pretty much okay for me. On this material, which come, we take the material of our planes object, flat shader, flat shader, gonna put it here. We create camera texture. We put our camera texture into our material. And now you see we have six, four people on the screen. And we can just edit the, the material, change your blend mode to add, reduce it a little bit, almost everything, and we see that we already have our effect happening. But we can do a little more, and we can smooth step this camera texture. So we can clip the light a little bit, and we already have our effect. We can do many stuff here. We can create a gradient, vertical, pack, vector four, one, zero dot five, one, color space, Edge cell, 
and we can multiply those two values so now we have rainbow light we can also smooth tap here on this hue value to the 0 0.4 0.6 when we have this little tiny tiny rainbow in the middle of the screen it could be horizontal or circular which is awesome also so this is it I hope it helped someone in creating this effect, which is pretty awesome and pretty easy to do. It's not rocket science, and we can make really beautiful things with it. Uh, this is it, people. Bye.